and welcome to today's segment of The Power of Money. I'm your host, Michelle Graves, affectionately known for the past 30 plus years as the Money Lady. Uh, this television broadcast is a continuation of a part one that I did last week uh, with two, uh, my two quote partners. Uh, the show is going through transition now, yay! Uh, consistent with my uh, desire to retool to be relevant for our viewers. And given the times that we're in and my commitment to educate uh, and to empower you so that you and your families can thrive and, and experience life, uh, this, 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 this constant negativity and dread and uh, I cannot stand it anymore. I just have to be blunt with you. I, I don't care who's president. There's a God who's greater. And he has your interests squarely in his heart. If you wish to walk in it. And for many, I've gotten feedback over the years and more lately more so that people just don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to make it happen in their lives. They've accumulated and now they find out they're sick or they've accumulated and now they find out their kids are crazy. Oh yeah. And uh, grandkids are, are of a concern. So we want to um, introduce you to this new format and um, hopefully you will embrace it. You can always call me, 513-237-3914. That's anywhere in the United States. You can call me. And believe it or not, I do answer my phone. Yes, I do, because <laughs> I want to hear from you. You're not going to talk to a machine. You're going to talk to me. So uh, secondly, you can always feel free to email me your comments, questions at mygraves at gmail.com. That's mygraves at gmail.com. Um, I'm giving you this information because we are desirous to hearing from you. Uh, my guests will be giving out their numbers as well so you can communicate with them on specific questions or concerns until we have an, an order in place. When I say an order, we're going to be giving you information, allowing you to download material to help you to get through this. I'm personally committed to uh, making sure that you do this well and that you are well prepared. I also recognize that because of cultural conditioning in America, people are incredibly lazy and they don't want to do anything. Well, you're not going to you're not going to get through this unless you put some some muscle to the grind. You're going to have to make some things happen differently in your life. You're going to have to reset, retool, re-engineer to get through these days ahead because things are never going to be the same in this country, in this world. And I want you to get through it. So, without further ado, I'm going to reintroduce my uh, two partners, and you might as well get used to it because you're going to be seeing a lot of them. And uh, I respect both of them in their areas of expertise. I couldn't do what I do without these two gentlemen doing what they do. So I'll begin with uh, Elder Den Dennis Hatchett. Good to have you back again. Good to be here, Michelle. If you'll just kind of refresh our, our viewers about <laughs> what you do that makes you so special in my world. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's special in your world, but... <laughs> If you want to say it's special, then I receive that. Okay. I'm just that, I'm that simple, to, to, to sum it up in one simple word, I'm the why person. Okay, you're the why person. I'm the person. why person. You, you have all these things that you do, all these things you experience, all these things that go on. I can tell you why. Mm. And Dr. Rick Howard, naturopathic doctor. Again, I, I um, focus on a lot of times on physical health, but also transformation of mind. I find that it's easier to change the body once you fix the mind. Mm, so absolutely. It, oh, wow. it's, it's so, I'm, I'm the mechanic since he's Okay, his, he's uh, the why, you're the I'm, mechanic. I'm the mechanic. I'm, I, I'm a thinker. I'm always thinking about something. Yes. But it is not pointless thinking is to do. And Always really, execution. It's execution is mm -hmm. the bottom, is the evidence that you have thought well. And I'm the executioner. <laughs> <laughs> and there are some that will say, and that literally is what she does <laughs> to my flesh. 
But no, I'm, I'm totally committed to people um, moving beyond their limitations caused by a negative mindset and embracing the unlimited potential that exists in humans that God gave us freely and abundantly that we may be all that we could ever ask or hope or think. So uh, I'm into let's get it done. No excuses, no mediocrity, no uh, lay the blame someplace else because in the final, final analysis, life is way too short. Absolutely. Yeah. To, to play foolish games. Absolutely. You know, get to it. So opening up on <coughs> today's segment as a continuation of our last segment, I'm pulling this magazine because I just got it. Uh, you can see it, AARP. Yeah, I am a senior. I get AARP. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, the header is Live Longer. And um, 50 Proven Ways to Add Years to Your Life. That's what they got. People are concerned about getting older. And not only getting older, uh, but quality of life. As I've shared before, the largest demographic shift in the United States is a baby boomers. You hear about the name now, but when I was talking about it 10 years ago, people were not at it. But we're here now. 10,000 people a day are leaving the workplace. Largest transition in U.S. history. Largest. Unprecedented. And they're leaving the workplace to go to what? I don't know. You know? <laughs> Nobody told you to leave. <laughs> you know, you did this, but they're out here and, and, and not necessarily out here in the best of circumstances, okay? I'll just be very open with you about it. So on that subject today, live longer, okay? Live longer. So I wonder if they're saying live longer, 50 proven ways to add years to your life. I'm wondering is that false advertising. Oh, ouch, 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 <laughs> I, I wonder ouch, 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 if that false advertising because who can promise you that you're going to live longer no matter what you do? I'm in the business of helping people, <laughs> people live, live longer, longer <laughs> but I quickly tell them, look, uh, that's in God's hands, okay? <laughs> I am just going to make sure things are working well in place and if you're missing a few things, we're going to plug a few holes. <laughs> Let's do that. But really what God has promised us is not necessarily that I can help you live, live longer, longer, but add more life to your living yes, sir. Mm. so that it's an abundant life you live. And last program, we talked about a three-dimensional attitude and I think over the next shows or whatever, mm -hmm. we're going to get in down to the nuts and bolts of what that really means, a three-dimensional life. But essentially, it's about three dimensions, mm -hmm. moral dimension where we get guidance, we right. have character, we have direction. And then once we have character, the intellect should kick in, hopefully. Right. <laughs> Where Unless we begin to be creative, uh -huh. we begin to explain or live out our purpose because now we have guidance. We know we have a good purpose. Mm -hmm. We can live that out intellectually. I can work. I can go to school. I can create. I can have my own business. I don't have to sit and vegetate. I can add life to, to my, my years. years. And the doing mm. of the thing is my physical body. Mm -hmm. That is what people oftentimes lose the potential mm -hmm. that God has given because they cannot move. Mm. They cannot add right. the life to their years because they've given their, their life to the years, mm. over the years, right. to the job, to the wrong purpose, to the wrong person. Do and you so there's nothing there. There's nothing more to give. You, You're you, done. You microwave the seed. Oh, they you microwave gonna, the seed. They aren't going to grow anymore. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you given your potential? But thank God, he says, even if there's a stump left, he said the scent of water will bring life to the stump. Isn't and that's that what something? we're doing. Isn't that something? Absolutely. What is your take? Absolutely. You know, my take is, is, is actually in alignment with what he said, because the thing is, God said, I come that you have life and that more abundantly. Mm -hmm. He did say, I come that you have long life. Uh-huh. 
or so if we have life in that more abundantly what is the quality of life mm -hmm. what do we want to, out of life do we have a vision mm -hmm. of an accomplishment and saying that this is what I want out of life and the this is the pattern that I have to walk to get here and then once I get here do I set a new goal mm -hmm. to keep pursuing mm -hmm. something greater mm -hmm. and unfortunately in our society our goal is to go to work tomorrow yeah yeah. So we can pay our bills and hang out on Saturday and Sunday. And so we can go to work to pay the bills. Bills to, to hang out. Uh. And we call that life. It totally overlooking the truest elements and essence of life. Our father created us so he could have relationship. Right. So if we're not having relationship in the midst of our job and going to work, are we really living? If we're not interacting with other people, having right. exchanges of intellect to feed us, to guide us, to redirect us, to, to energize us, to encourage us. Where is the, the, where is the life? Well, I think this magazine, this AARP, though, you know, they, maybe they're speaking to the, to the boomers, but the, it's also the Facebook generation oh, yeah. where you can be friends without interaction other than on a screen, screen. I know. or something like that. And so people are being educated to a one-dimensional existence. Absolutely. Whether that's church life, that I'm just there, and if I go to church, people say, I go to church to, to, to worship God. Well, what are you We're doing the rest, the rest of the, the week? The week. week. Exactly. Right, right. Or even in that church environment where you can be in a church and because there is no ability to relate to other people, it becomes a very solitary, solitude uh, experience. And, and a lot of people do that every Sunday. Well, that's, I think that's why a lot of people, you know, uh, and <laughs> when there's 20,000 people in mm -hmm. your congregation, yep, yep, they yep. have to tell them, touch your neighbor. Yeah, they do, they do, they do. Exactly. Because <laughs> they do. You, you don't, they otherwise, do. there's no interaction. I'm, I'm going to keep away from you right, otherwise right, and, right. and mind my own Absolutely. business. Absolutely. But I, I think that is a, a kind of antithetical. It's, I was trying to think of a, a shorter word, then it helped me. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's the opposite right. of what God is trying to help us to live out. And I think, I was reading this article, um, I, get, I read so many books I, and I magazines did. and stuff, but one of them was talking about touch. Mm -hmm. Just touching. Touch. Mm -hmm. They said, for, especially for babies, mothers, but people, when you touch someone, mm. it promotes the release of oxytocin. Yes. Okay, oxytocin not only is bringing you closer because of the touch, but it also, they're finding, heals you, heals that person, mm. touching, relating in the proper context and ways adds life. To your years, God I, I, I totally believe it. that He engineered. I totally it. believe that the exchange of energy, the mm. ability for me to uh, to to convey to you um, my sense of who I am. That's why when a person that's toxic touches me, I recoil. I mean, I don't do it on purpose. It's just the it's something that trans. I'm like, oh my God. You know, do you have plants growing in your house? <laughs> no, I grow plants. I'm like, do you have dogs and cats running around? You know, because you are kind of scary. Kind of scary, but a lot of people are there. And but, you know, and that's, that's a reality that comes from the separation and mm -hmm. the lack of touch and the lack of exchange and the lack of what I said before, relationship. Mm -hmm. Because that relationship affords you the opportunity to be able to touch and to interact. Mm -hmm. And yes. We talk about we talk about food in, waste out. Mm -hmm. Well, let's look at the the demographics of ears and eyes. What comes in if you never open your mouth to let it mm -hmm. out? It's, it's just staying in, and it's staying in, and you never let it out because you never speak to anybody. Mm -hmm. You're not communicating mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. anybody. So now everything resonates in terrorist. here, and, 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 oh. and, it, and it's also Ooh. that terrorism comes from the toxicity 
that establishes itself because now you harboring all of this stuff in here and when you do open your mouth there's no systematics to it because you've never exchanged any of it with anybody to realign it to appropriacy so the only appropriacies that exist are the ones within your own mind so then when you start spewing out your own mind to somebody oh, oui. they look at you like what exactly and then <laughs> and then it is that toxic thing that mm -hmm, you speak mm -hmm. to and it, we as people are unaware that you can you can feel that and, definitely and, and it's, can it's it's a it's a real presence that is undeniable mm -hmm. and we don't really understand it's it's just simplicity of release because if you if you take if you're always taking in right and you're always taking in and you never give out it, it, you have a surplus what is your surplus doing exactly if it doesn't have an assignment well i think i think uh you raise an interesting point because uh as we talked about these different dimensions mm -hmm. i mean mentally you can get in trouble just as quickly as you can <laughs> physically, physically absolutely I mean, and morally mm -hmm. you know if i'm on the wrong basis that means that each dimension of life needs maintenance yes sir you see absolutely i mean that's Mm -hmm. come around to right, why right. we're doing right, what exactly, we're doing. Right, exactly. That each dimension needs this maintenance in order to keep a balance. I mean, homeostasis physically mm -hmm. speaks to balance. Right, okay? right. It speaks to balance. It speaks to balanced blood pressure, balanced blood sugar, you know. But it also speaks to a temperate mindset. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. A balance of mind. Mm -hmm. yes. A balance of interactiveness so mm -hmm. I think that balance and of life is it, it needs maintenance because I may not know that I'm leaning until you tell me mm -hmm. Rick do you know you're, you're leaning, leaning. Uh-huh. what I'm not leaning mm -hmm. and then it says yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, leaning. you're leaning, you're leaning. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. okay so that's the nature and, and in, now I'm going to get deep on myself uh, that, that's the nature of God. I mean, that's why the, there's a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. because they complete one another. If it was just God the Father, God the Son, they, oh, I love you, oh, I love you too, I love you, I love you too, and they never reach outside themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. But the nature of love says, well, I love you, and, and he says, I love her. Mm -hmm. Do I get jealous? No. 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 It, I'm, I'm fine loving you and you loving her and she loving me. Right. And you see what I'm saying? Right, right. Now it completes itself. Right. Then I can say, well, I love you. And you say, well, I love okay. him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's Absolutely. the same relationship between the, in ourselves. If I never mentally think about things, then I'm going to be dependent on someone else to help me. Right. Uh, do you, can you help me with this? Well, you didn't learn to do that yourself? No, uh, well, no. no. I, well, no. I didn't, you know. Right. Each part, each dimension, finances, is an outgrowth of what I do physically from that physical right. dimension. Right. But it needs maintenance. Right. It does. I need to balance my checkbook. Yes, you do, or else it's going to be <laughs> a bad day. I need that. Yeah. It, it, mm -hmm. So as much as I need to balance my checkbook, I do need to balance my plate, mm -hmm. what I eat, what right. I take in. Right. I do need to balance how much I sleep. There's a certain time that you should sleep and you receive You shared that. that. What, give me, because you know I altered, uh, my, I altered my sleep time based upon what you told me. I'm telling you, there was, there was a lady that I had who had high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. She was insistent on exercise, eating right. She was 64, looked good, not a drop overweight, and she had increasing high blood pressure. Oh, wait. And she said, why is this happening? I'm eating right, I'm doing mm -hmm. this. It's an imbalance that you're not addressing. So I said, I looked at her checklist, I said, well, I can help you, I'll get you some herbs, I'll, we'll do this. I said, but what time do you go to bed? Oh, well, you know, it might be 2 o'clock, it morning. might be 3 o'clock, it might be, you know, depending on what I'm doing, you know, but I always sleep longer. I said, mm -mm. there's a time 
to every purpose under heaven, a time to stay up and a time to go to bed. So between the hours of nine and approximately one. In the morning. In the morning. Mm -hmm. Your body does something that it does not do any other time except when you vigorously exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stop and pause. When is the last time most people vigorously we exercise? exercise. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. So you better grab that sleep mm -hmm. time between 9, 8, 9 p.m. and 9 and, and 1, 1 a.m. Yep. What your body does is produces 71% of the human growth factor, which repairs your body. So those of you who sleep at night, I'm sorry. I bow my head because you're going to have to go over and beyond to keep the adrenal system balanced mm -hmm. and to keep your energy levels correct or you will prematurely age because you are borrowing the life from your years. Goodness gracious. You see, Absolutely. you can only borrow so much before you go bankrupt. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you're right? right, you're done. It's the same <laughs> physically as it is relation to your monies and things. You can only borrow so much and then you have to say, you know what, I need to stop borrowing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Absolutely. And, and, and your body will not repair. Oh my God. In the same way. Absolutely. It won't. You, you can do what you want. It will not. And, nine and to one. Nine, nine to, to one. one. Now look at this. This is another interesting part since we talked yeah, about Yeah, we that. got to. Since we're talking this is about important. That. That's, this is interesting. Listen up, folks. So give, give me the camera. Give me, that, give, that, me give me. Listen to this. It changed my sleep habits. <laughs> it did because I don't dis I don't disdain wisdom. Period. But the okay. crazy thing about that is that God showed you how that should work from the very beginning because He said, "Okay." The day will be ruled by the sun, mm -hmm. the moon by the night. Now, most people think, oh, okay, well, he just put the sun there. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Do you realize that drives the dynamic for every physiological change in your body? Sunlight, as soon as the sun comes up and the light of the sun hits your mm -hmm. eyes, dopamine production begins. Whoa. And the pituitary gland stops producing melatonin. Mm. But if you stay up and watch television, keeping even artificial light on, mm. the melatonin production goes down. And melatonin balances the hormones. It creates an environment in your body that says rest. Wow. But if you don't, if you ignore that, it says, well, you don't want to rest and you have to borrow life oh. that's stored in your oh. other organs. Oh. That's why people say, oh. Oh, why, why am I getting old? Because, because you're, you're borrowing the life from your years. Absolutely. Did you're you know this thing? It. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. You must he, tell people on your radio show this thing. Well, you know, it, we, we usually leave the floor open on the radio I show for topics. I know, but that's topics. important. And, and, this is the thing. Eventually, we're going to get there. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to get there. Because the, you know what? The focus that, that has been addressed on the radio show more openly has been the, the outward essence. Or, and when I speak to the outward essence, I speak to the toxicity of, of media. The toxicity okay. of media in this world is independence. Everything that we're speaking to right now is speaking to the element of interdependence relationship mm -hmm. and we're speaking against that toxicity of the world and the systematics of the world and those are the things that we're addressing on the airways mm -hmm. of, of the radio why because that's the topic that's most prevalent in the eyes of those that are in the crew I understand so we're gonna get there but we have to exhaust this element because they're not going to perceive this element. Okay, I got you. Until they have an understanding of this element. Right. You have to give an outward understanding before you're going to get an inward understanding. Okay. Because they, they're very visual. This generation is very visual. And, and, it, and, and, and it's about their emotions and how it makes you feel. So when we, let's deal with that, how it makes you feel. And we deal with the reality that independence 
creates a whole nother feeling all of its own because now everything is revolving around you. Uh, uh, and uh, as long as everything revolves around, around you, you, it matters not that the sun does this and the moon does that and you should respond to this. And No, because you're so individualized in your, in your nature and your character and who you are. There's no other elements that are significant to your life except you. Well, well I have a, a seminar that I put together, <laughs> it's, it's called The Gift of Copernicus. Okay, I knew you would, you, who is Copernicus, <laughs> right? right? Who is this masked man? Copernicus, though, was a, a, a scientist before, you know, Galileo and all this, that he discovered that the solar system we live in was heliocentric and not terracentric. Okay. In other words, the sun did, it was before he came about and put this in perspective, people actually thought that the sun and all the moon and everything revolved around the earth. Right. So when he said, no. you know, uh, no, this doesn't make sense, that the earth revolves around the sun, mm -hmm. okay? So even in non-religious terms, the sun is at the middle of the universe, not me. me. Absolutely. Right. If I put, he said mathematically, this is the way he figured it out, mathematically, he said the orbits of the planets and the way he saw the planets move was crazy. It did crazy things, unpredictable, mm -hmm. because I made me, I'm, and I'm mm -hmm. giving yeah. the lesson, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I make me there the center, center of it. Of yes, it. sir. When I am the center, you look crazy. Absolutely. You look crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. Everybody looks crazy. Absolutely. Except me. Except me. Except me, because, <laughs> well, I don't know why y'all doing that. I don't know why, why are you doing that now? He said, but when he took the mathematics, the same mathematics, and put the sun at the center, mm -hmm. he said, now everything looks right. Absolutely. Everything moves <laughs> in predictable order. Right. Get me out of there. Yeah, get me okay? out. And that's what we're talking about with this programming is developing tools that will show you how to build a vital life, how to balance mm -hmm. each area, whether it be finance or food mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. moral or thinking or intellect. We, we could have a whole thing on school and training and what oh can you God. do? Absolutely. Hey, you've lost your job with so-so corporation. Now what? Now what? Retool time. You know, how do you do that? Maybe yeah. that's a whole thing because the mind is this comprehensive uh, interaction between my moral power mm -hmm. and my intellect. But if I don't do my intellect, and develop myself as a person, my horizons get narrower mm -hmm. and yes, narrower and narrower yes, till I, that don't look right, it's not A. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as B. Absolutely. And C that to exist. me is, in fact, one of the things that typifies uh, in this culture here, aging. Right. It literally does because they've been singularly dimensioned. I'm getting older, it's a fact, I'm not upset about it. I'm looking to expand and reinvent, but I know that with many of my peers, you can't have a good conversation anymore. You, 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 you cannot, it's like, spare me, I'm out, um, about any, because it's narrow and it's gotten narrower, which is if this is not, if you are not in agreement with me to see it a certain way, then just next. Forget right. you. And you're like, but, but you have to be willing to be open. But it's as if the brain has just completely morphed into this little waffle. That's yeah. the result of independence. Independence is a discharging mm -hmm. of perspectives. Hmm. Because the only perspective that's the important is yours. Exactly. So oh, when you're wow. discharging perspectives, you no longer have communication. All you have are conversations. You talk about all those things that are indicative and imperative to you. Mm -hmm. I talk about all those things that are indicative and imperative to me. 
communication is an exchange of ideas, mm -hmm. perspectives, information, and knowledge for the development, growth, and expansion of a perspective you may have had. As iron sharpens iron, iron sharpens, absolutely. Iron friend mm -hmm. sharpens another. He yes, does sir. that intellectually, absolutely. morally, absolutely. even physically. Oh, mm -hmm. you know, you got this on your nose. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think that the tools that can be developed or are, are, are that we're talking about mm -hmm. developing here are real life tools. I think, as the article says, or Miss says, we're, we're going to teach you how to add years mm -hmm. to your life? No, we can't do that. We can't promise that. Yes. But we can teach you how to add years, years to, to your, your life. life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, life, life to, to your, your years. years. I'm sorry, they got right, me uh -huh, to your See, life. I know that. Life <laughs> to your years, which is a, um, it's counterintuitive, actually, because people never look at it li like that. It's very hard for um in our society for people to move out of that place of independence which is me myself and I in terms of operations decision makings etc to do the things that are so contrary to scripture because the, the Bible makes it very clear that we are to be relational that we are to communicate with one another and that I am to love you exactly and in same measure as I love myself absolutely well the culture is so strong though in terms of branding and imprinting. Mm, okay. Talk about that. And then. what I what I mean by that is don't wear a color that people think is strange. Because the culture will say, Why you got that on? Mm -hmm. that, that doesn't look right. That, and it had nothing to do with them. But I heard something on NPR recently mm -hmm. that was very interesting. This guy, he was talking about the internet and Facebook mm -hmm. and all this and the power of the screen. Mm -hmm. Now this guy was a developer of these things, mm -hmm. okay? So he said it was he said one of his suggestions to people is spend a certain amount of time each day where you can look around and not know which year it is. Mm. He said if you look at the grass, if you're out surrounded mm -hmm. by grass and trees and sky you don't know what year it is, mm -hmm. but if you're in a perspective where all you see is a screen and it's constantly telling you the time and it's mm -hmm. constantly telling you this, they have control over your, your thinking and your mind mm -hmm. Absolutely. and the culturation is constant. Mm -hmm. You know, like you're watching uh, television, I noticed it the other day, my wife was watching, we were watching some documentary mm -hmm. and I was into it. But the little station had their ID right on the documentary. Right. I'm mm -hmm. saying, why, 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 why Yeah. I don't want to see that. Mm -hmm. But they said, no, this is the point. So if we live our lives only in the perspective of the culture, only in the perspective of that acculturation, mm -hmm. then the interdependence can't happen just like the independence, true independence, can't happen in that environment because you're doing what everybody else does, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. the Bible talks about the birth of culture. They went out and they said, "What? Uh, let us build this mm -hmm. oh, tower yeah. of Babel. Let us, let us do." Let, mm -hmm. Well, where did us come into it? Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> but that's yes. the same thing happening mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. So the tools that we're talking about developing. Um, maybe we talk about that. Maybe we talk about the fact that eventually there will be um, newsletter kinds of things that right. can be, you know, done right. online. There will be seminar kinds of situations mm -hmm. where the, the viewers can come and say, okay, let's sit down, let's talk, let's mm -hmm. have a mm -hmm. conversation about health. Maybe mm -hmm. it will be about the health of your life, right. which could include what? If you don't have any money these days, I, you don't have any help. You don't have any help. Because yeah. you, 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 you can't, can't afford it. You can, exactly. You can't afford the things that mm -mm. the nutrients the body needs. Mm -mm. You can't acquire them. Right. right. And, Although you can grow a garden now. Elder. Well, you can. But, but now, but that how takes are you going to get some the seeds? land, okay. that takes some seed, that but, takes okay, some just, land. <laughs> Kroger's would account you as stealing if you walk out of their store with their stuff and you didn't give them their, their money. Their money, right. And I mean, of course. I mean, we're, everything is relative because in some sense, mm -hmm. there are free 
things. We are free to develop. But look at the way God intended it when he said, let us make man in our own image right. after our own likeness. What did God do? He built something. He did. He made an environment for man to live in. Right. So my whole life is should be involved in building something. Right. And building an environment that others, more than me, or not just mm -hmm. me, can enjoy. Absolutely. So you have to have the tools to learn to do that. Effectively. And effectively. Yes, you do. You know. But he brings up a, a, a real key point with regard to interdependence. Because as a, as a nation, uh, this philosophy has created such profound division racially, culturally, um, demographically. East, Easterners and Westerners are not Midwesterners, all of this, which has in the end uh, shut our ability to communicate. Absolutely. Powerfully. Absolutely. With one another. And, and it has, I will be candid with you, it has so... Um, challenge me and to how do I connect with people in areas where we can actually conversate without them going into another arena in terms of their opinion and and point of view and I'm not opposed to people's point of view but um, it just seems as if this quest for Arby's do it my way me myself a, a bigger hamburger relative to how are we going to interface and, and help each other, particularly in the days ahead. And I say this because there are going to be a lot more sick people, and you said it yourself, you're, you're inundated. There are, they, people don't want to be sick. No. They don't want to be sick. But you know, you've said something there. People don't want to be sick but they have chosen to, to be, be sick. sick. Absolutely. That's, how that, can that. you choose? <clears throat> how, Dr. Howard, do you actually believe that people make conscious decisions to be sick? People make conscious decisions that make them sick. There's if they knew difference. those decisions were going to make them sick, Knowledge would they do it? is not the controller. Character is the okay. controller. Moral power. Now, I'll show you very easily how that works. Okay, show okay. me. Okay. Um, I've got a pack of cigarettes. Okay. It says on the cigarettes, don't do this or it will kill you. Call you cause lung cancer. cancer. Cause this. Mm -hmm. Right. And I said, man, you know, as I'm taking one out. Wow, I know I, I need to quit smoking, uh, and I am. You got a light? Right. <laughs> the knowledge of what the cigarette will do to, to me you. did not change me. It did not change my behavior. Mm. It did not change what I did. It did not change the outcome. If I do not have the moral power to make a decision based on the proper knowledge, then the knowledge of itself is empty. Absolutely. What is Absolutely. your take? Well, a, a lot of that is a choice, but then there's this other dimension that's created for you. And let's use one element, got milk. Got milk, well, yeah, exactly. can't do milk. Well, from a medical standpoint, we all know that milk causes mucus. Yeah. Bacteria lives in mucus. All the, the, uh, what we, the sinus issues that we deal with, are centered around mucus. So if milk causes mucus, and they say, got milk, they sell it to you because it has calcium in it and you need calcium. Well, that's true, but they don't give you the other side that milk's gonna cause mucus, it's gonna cause all these COPD mm -hmm. symptoms in your body because your body's not gonna be able to get rid of this mucus that, mm. you, that you keep collecting when you eat it, and then they, 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 they create all of these restaurants. Yeah. That specialize in Alfredo sauce and, mm. and all these sauces and all of them are milk based. And then you start you start mass consuming all of this milk. And you and it all oh, tastes so good. And I can't give it up because it tastes so good. Not knowing you're 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 creating the problem you have mm. by your choice in what you eat. But 
you've been fed information that it's so good because milk is good because it has calcium in it. And it's like all these it's like all these drugs they 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 advertise mm -hmm. in the infomercials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They say it's, it's going to fix this. But, but then you all of these side of effects. I was like, oh my God, oh my yeah. God, who but would the, do but that? But this side, that? they give you the food and they give you the good, but they don't give you all the side effects. You find that out years later after you've had this accumulation and now yeah. you, you can't breathe and now, uh, and now I'm coughing. And, and, and when, you, when you develop all of these symptomatic mm -hmm. issues, now you start addressing the issues, never the cause. Mm. And you, but you, you, you made the, the choice based on unwise counsel, which is based on, yes, sir. you know, poor you know, the characterization that they're doing of this. I mean, there are so many levels that's on there because actually the mucus isn't a bad thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, because more. mucus is God's methodology for getting trash out of your body. So Whoa. once you, it's like when you get something in your nose, what do you do? Blow it. <laughs> you blow your nose. Mm -hmm. Because most people don't drink enough water, the there body, con they, they consolidates, the body consolidates oh. its use of water to get rid of that trash. It says, well, Rick is not drinking enough water, so let me make it in, stuff the sticker so oh ugh. wow that's why it comes to that so i mean the milk is doing things on other levels so many levels because now yes it has calcium which but. by the way they made them stop using that say everybody they, their first thing was everybody needs milk and Not the government true. said that's a lie okay yes. so you okay. can't tell that but anyway the the problem with it yes it has calcium but it is a rich source of phosphorus, which is magnet for the calcium. So it's like saying, uh, Michelle, you want a guy? There's a thousand guys over there. Okay. But, oh, 999 of them are married. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it. You can't have you can't it. Have there's it. a lot of calcium in milk, but there's a lot of phosphorus in milk, mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of protein in milk, and there's a lot of fat in milk. So that means the the actual impact of milk is to cause a deficit of calcium from your body. Oh my God! Not not adding. The adding. It, See. So what they read though, when they read the tests, they say, well, this person was drinking calcium, and there's more calcium available in their blood. Why? Because now, in order to deal with the acidity that oh, comes God, from the from milk, the milk yeah. and the protein that, that drives that pH imbalance, and the lack of getting the calcium, it leaches it from your bones <gasps> and makes it available to the body <laughs> to repair. <laughs> so you're actually killing, drink, your, you're killing, killing yourself. yourself. Absolutely. So, so again, This wow. is unbelievable. <laughs> The you hear us having this dialogue, uh, viewers. View, view, viewers, do you, do you, are you with us? This is this is serious stuff. Brilliant men. Ah. But I think I think it comes back to, again, what are we offering here? Okay. You know, with the the tools that, and I would love to hear from the the viewers. What do they need to hear well, out give of us this? Your phone out of number. this give them your phone number. Well, my phone number. I've got uh, my office number is uh, 513-755-2019. 513-755-2019. Thank you. My cell number, which I answer most of the, the time, time. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, 513-571-9210. Or Rick B. Howard at gmail.com. Right. Okay, Rick B. Don't forget that. Or are you sending it to somebody else? B as in boy. Rick B. Howard at gmail.com. I want to hear what you need to know, what yeah. you need to, where are you hurting? We, we don't want to poke your, your back and you're hurting in your knee. Right? Knees, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. So I think the tools that we offer are going to be broad. Right. They're going to be broad. They're going to be particular, right. but we want to hear feedback of yeah, we do. what needs there are, right. what, what things mm -hmm. do you need. And I think we have to 
kind of lay that out. How are we going to present these various mm -hmm. things, which will be rolled out? I'm right. Sure, oh, no, no, no. We, we definitely are. We're just introducing, want to introduce them to you guys as my partners and uh, make them aware that we are transitioning into um, another reality, and that is uh, quality of life. Empowering life. Empowering life. It's, it's, it's about getting out here and, and playing ball to win rather than just swinging at the ball. Absolutely. I mean, and, that's and, and even if you swing at the ball and miss, we want you to add life to your years. We, so you swing with all your force. Absolutely. <laughs> and, absolutely. and you can still, you can still, is, here's the difference between a great ball player and one that's not. Okay. The one that is not swings, misses, and goes away and hides. Mm -hmm. But the one that has vitality, that has confidence, that has a balanced concept of himself and of the game, he's going to swing, and he may miss. He said, well, that's I'm only one. Again. I'm coming up next time, and I'm going to knock it out right. of here. Yes, right. sir. He's right. not demoralized by missing. Right. There Absolutely. are a lot of people who have failed at this, failed mm -hmm. at that, been fired at this, mm -hmm. and are demoralized by that instead of depending on the promise that God has given. He said, look, I have placed a potential in you for power. Isn't that something? I have given you a potential Absolutely. for power that will take you beyond circumstances, Right. take you beyond medicine, take you beyond whatever. It's not dependent upon that, but the difference is because it's not power in the sky, what we're saying is there is an interactive relationship yes, between sir. God yes, sir. and ourselves, between you and me, between him and I mm -hmm. and you. Because if I do not exercise the power that he has given, has given the only result is atrophy. Absolutely. And that's where Absolutely. we are, that's where we are as, as a, a society as right. a today Absolutely. in this country. What are your, well, what and are the your thing, thoughts? The, another element that we have to look at that most people overlook. It, you, you're true to, to the word where most people get demoralized by their failures. Mm -hmm. But the reality of the matter in my experience has been mm -hmm. I have never succeeded in an area that I didn't first fail in. Mm -hmm. And I had to fail to understand what I was doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And the failures are nothing more than exposures of the wrong way or the wrong process or element of doing a thing. So if you don't take an account to your failure and understand your failure and say, okay, let's, this didn't work, so let me try something different. And then if this doesn't work, mm -hmm. but it may have gotten me closer to the goal. Right. So it said, okay, well, this might be something that I need to add something to. Right. But if you don't walk in that confidence and persistence that I'm going to get here, mm -hmm. then you allow the things that cause you failure to be the thing that tells you you can't get there. And uh, uh, the understanding and the mindset, mm -hmm. all of my failures are nothing more than tools. Period. For my success. Well, I certainly can attest to this because people wanted to know, number one, why are you the money lady? And I said, um, self-evident. Okay, my expertise is, is in money, all forms, all aspects. But I didn't get there by happenstance. I got there by failure upon failure upon failure. Absolutely. I mean, I, I learned, and that's why I tell women, do not have children unless you plan on being married to that man. Hmm. Period. Because raising children is expensive. If you want to train them properly, you got to have some ducats. Okay, now the Lord blessed me to understand through my sorrow with raising children and not having money. I mean, I drove a raggedy car while my children went to private school. Why? Because you can't have it all. <laughs> you may, you may <clears throat> want these beautiful cars. Now I don't care. You know, I, I don't care. I can buy a car cash and done. But uh, the fact is, is that you're right. You will fail a lot. You will make terrible mistakes. Absolutely. While you're learning. Pain is a teacher. Yes, it shouldn't it be. Absolutely. But, but it, it is. is. Absolutely. And through pain, you learn 
uh, your moral compass. Hopefully. Absolutely. Ho hopefully, <laughs> unless you're a psychopath. You, are you a psychopath? Anyway, um, because of that, I am the woman I am today. And, and it takes a whole lot for me to be moved by money, wealth, trappings, all that kind of stuff, because I've had it, I've done it, the Lord has had me do other things uh, with my money, and, and, and it's okay. I live a very modest life. Everything I have is, I mean, bargain basement stuff, thrift store queen. Seriously, because I'm not into consumption, and I'm not interested in impressing anybody. Come on. I'm just not. It Absolutely. does not matter. Uh, this, this jacket is an Escada. It's, this is a $2,500 jacket that I got at a thrift store for $2.99. Well, that's the way to do it. <laughs> hey, are Come you going to do it like that? Come Boom. On. Are you going to do it like that, Dennis? Boom. Come You're going to do it like that because as far as I'm concerned, that $2.99 was what it was worth. And it's, it's okay. really a difference of how you learn to value the things. Exactly. When you talk about that moral piece you, at the you, top of the and, line. And see, really, when people hear the word moral, a lot of people get scared about that word. Mm -hmm. But you think about it. Think about the news lately. What have you heard? Uh, Deutsche, Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank out of What were Belgium. they doing? Laundering lying, money out lying, of, lying. Out of this. Uh, yeah. Uh, Donald Flynn, I mean Michael uh, Flynn got fired. Why? Liar, liar, lying, pants on fire. All these moral issues. What morality is, it's a power. Okay? It is. It gives you direction. Yes, sir. It gives you faith. That's where faith grows out of that, that you mm -hmm. can see beyond that. It gives you vision. Right. It gives you an imperative that you want to live. Right. You lose your moral compass. You don't want to live. Mm. There is no fuel for the purpose. You see? And, and, and so this moral power is something that it's a tool that needs to be used. It needs to guide the rest of your life, but it's invisible, isn't it? You don't wow. see that. Absolutely. You Gentlemen, don't see it. Our time is up. Wow. Wow. I know. Give them your phone number. Phone numbers. Ministry number 513-579-9302. That's 513-579-9302. Cell numbers 513-470-2501. And both lines are always on because we do need to hear from you because when we know what you need, then we can be more effective in giving you what you need. And I just, of course, if you don't know my number by now, I don't know where you've been, but <laughs> no, 30 years, come on. I've had the same number for 20. 513-237-3914. Want to hear from you. Um, email mygraves uh, at gmail.com. And again, we are just introducing you to um, just a reformatting, a refocus, and a recommitment to our viewers, we are moving forward with this agenda because this is all that matters at this point in my life. It's a hot mess out here. Hmm. It is a hot mess. And, and I'm weary and I'm so sorrowful. I do not want my grandchildren walking in this. I really don't. I don't want them walking in it. So we do have uh, answers. We need to hear from you. Again, I appreciate you listening in to both segments with my honored guest, uh, Dr. Rick Howard, naturopathic doctor, and Elder uh, Dennis Hatchett, who is an apostle by commissioning, and myself, Michelle Graves, the money lady. God bless you as always. Thank you for listening in. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus that surpasses all understanding, all, I can't understand why you have peace sometimes, be with you in the upcoming days. I'll talk to you soon. You take care. Bye-bye.